Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna quickly go through my Strava year in review and then go through my aims and goals for 2024. All right, let's jump straight in. So rather predictably, my top sport was cycling, given that this is JMO cycling, not JMO other sports, that kind of makes sense. So in all seriousness, I'm actually thinking of changing the channel to JMO fitness rather than JMO cycling, just because I'm probably gonna start getting into lots of other sports as well. Don't get me wrong, cycling is my number one, but I want to try other things as well. Surprisingly, my second most popular sport was hiking. I would have thought running would have been my second highest considering I did a marathon this year, but apparently not. Hiking took the second spot. I guess that makes sense because one hike can be like eight hours, whereas a run is normally like less than an hour. Total hours, 384, not too bad there. Just over one hour a day, which is pretty consistent. 348 hours puts me in the top 2% of Strava users. Definitely no complaints there. So my longest activity activity was 176 kilometers. That was actually my final ride here in China. I was just trying to beat my personal record of 160 kilometers. In the end, it wasn't too difficult actually. Hopefully in 2024, I can break the 200 kilometer barrier. Total distance 6,062 kilometers, pretty similar to 2022 as well. I thought this would be quite a bit lower considering what's happened this year. I had a few months off in the summer for the summer holiday and going traveling and also in January, I was out with COVID for quite a bit, so not too great. Total elevation gain, 52,000 meters. Again, pretty standard, nothing too crazy. Loads of KOMs and personal records. Not really that interesting this data, to be honest. So total days active, only 221. So that's quite a lot of days where I didn't do anything at all, but you know, I don't really value this metric that much. Resting is just as important as the exercise days. All right, so that's 2023 done. Let's focus on 2024. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you will know I live out here in China and that's the big news of 2024 really. At the end of February, I'm going to be packing up everything from my home in China and moving it back to the UK. So this is actually pretty exciting for me. I've lived in China for a long, long time now and going back to England is a big change. It will definitely be a bit of reverse culture shock, that's for sure. Don't get me wrong, I'm pretty excited about this. China, you know, it's very different. It's quite nice that there's lots of mountains and hikes and stuff which I can do here but there are some negatives. For example, some days the air just isn't very good, so you can't exercise outside, and the roads are a bit sketchy, which isn't the best thing for cycling. Overall, I feel like going back to England is probably better for exercise and outdoor activities. So I've already shipped my bikes back to England, which means I've got two months here in China without a bike, which leads me on to the next thing. So in England, I'm going to be able to sign up for a lot more activities and events, the first of which is going to be a half marathon in March. So given that I don't have any bikes, I need to keep myself active. So I'm gonna be going back to running. So a half marathon is a thing I've done a few times before. It's not particularly difficult for me to complete a half marathon now. I'm pretty sure given my level of fitness, I could just get out and run one tomorrow. It probably wouldn't be particularly pretty, but I could force my way through it. So for this one, I'm going to aim for a specific time because I want to push myself to get faster. My previous half marathon was just under two hours, but for this one, I'm going to follow a proper three month training plan and I'm gonna aim for a time of one hour and 45 minutes. So 15 minutes quicker than my previous personal record. So hopefully following a proper training plan will allow me to do that. The previous times I followed a training plan for running, I've always ended up getting sick or having some other issue, which meant I didn't complete it fully. So for this one, I'm gonna really try to stick to it properly. So that's my first event of the year, half marathon in March. My next main goal of the year is to do a triathlon. I've always actually wanted to do a triathlon. If you scroll back through my channel right to the very beginnings, you'll see lots of cringe inducing videos where I'm talking about how I want to do an Ironman. So that is still my long, long-term goal. But for this year, I'm going to try and focus on a half Ironman. I feel like having an actual event to work towards will give me a lot more motivation rather than just training for the sake of training. With regards to triathlon, my weakest part is definitely the swimming. I feel like over time, I've actually become a competent cyclist and an all right runner, but my swimming is still definitely not that great. Oh, I have a guest here. The cat is back. This is my cat, little Kiki. She's just actually been to get snipped. So 
yeah, she needs to be prepared to be taken back to England, which is a long, long process. So yeah, I'm sure she'll love the flight back. Anyway, back to the triathlon. Like I said, I feel like my swimming is definitely the weakest part. I haven't swam properly for a few years now. I swam in school, you know, not, um, not in like a team or anything, just because in England they teach you to swim at school, but that's the extent of my swimming really. So as soon as I land back in England, I'm gonna hit the pool, get a few lengths in and try to get my swimming up to scratch. So yeah, triathlon is the main event of this year. I'll be very happy if I manage to complete that. I'm still looking for a specific event to do, but I'll keep you updated with that in the future. So of course, I'm still going to be working towards my four watts per kilogram target on the bike. That's something I believe will just come with time. Hopefully the weight will continue to come off. Over Christmas, I've managed to put a few kilograms on, which isn't ideal. But once I'm back in England, hopefully there'll be no more moving cities, moving countries, and I'll be able to be a lot more consistent with my eating and stuff like that. I know it's not ideal and it sounds like excuses, but consistency is the main thing. And hopefully being in one place for a while will allow me to stick to that. So those are my fitness goals. I do have some other goals which are not really fitness related. The first off is the channel. At the moment, we're on 4.3K subscribers, which is frankly ridiculous. Big thanks to everyone who watches and subscribes. It really does mean a great deal to me. When I started this channel, I really didn't expect this many people to take an interest in what I'm doing. So like I said, it really means a great deal to me. By the end of the year, it'd be pretty cool to hit 5K subscribers, a nice round number. So if you'd like to help me achieve that, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Kind of related to that is my Instagram. I've been meaning to post a lot more on there. When it comes to like editing the videos for YouTube, it always takes quite a while. I'm always about two weeks behind what I'm doing in real life compared to what's on the channel. So on Instagram, I want to post more. My last post on Instagram was in like July. So that's how far behind I am on Instagram. So on Instagram, I want to keep things a bit more timely. Like if I'm following a training program, I'd post like how each run went and stuff like that. Just things that are a bit more personal and a bit more time important, if that makes sense. On YouTube, of course, I'll keep sticking to the long form content with more longer term videos about how like an entire training plan has gone, for example. But on Instagram, I'll definitely keep it a bit more personal and a bit more detailed. On Instagram, I'll also be posting more about my personal life and about my traveling and stuff like that. So if you think you'd be interested in stuff like that, be sure to give me a follow and I'll try to keep the content actually somewhat interesting. All right, that's it for this one. Like I said, thank you to everyone who subscribes. It means a great deal to me. If you want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what your goals are for 2024. Whack them down there in the comments and I'll be sure to read every comment and hopefully reply to all of them. Anyway, that's it from me. See you in the next one. Peace out.